All right, we're joined in the media center to start by our second place finisher, Carl Edwards, also our 2007 NASCAR Nationwide Series champion, driver of the number 60 Roush Fenway Racing Ford. And also coming up to join us is uh, Kevin Harvick, our two-time NASCAR Nationwide Series champion. He finished third today in the 33 Ream Pool and Spa Heater Chevrolet. Carl, I'll start with you. Uh, second place finish here at uh, Auto Club Speedway. Great racing out there today. How'd you How'd you see it out there? We um, we're focused on the wrong car, I guess. I we thought we were racing a 33, and then uh, um, my crew chief said the 18's the leader, and I thought, oh, he hadn't pitted yet, but he had pitted, and he took two tires, and that was the the call that won the race. He was really in the best position, being back there watching what we were going to do, and then and then do the opposite. So. It didn't work out the way we uh, we thought it was going to, and you know we still had I had a lot of fun racing with uh, with Kevin and Kyle and and Stenhouse. It was pretty fun racing out there today. Kevin, how about you? Yeah, I mean it was a we had a blast. Uh, you know, just lap after lap uh, we'd catch lap traffic, and he could kind of take off better and uh, get going on the on the restarts a little bit better, and and uh, mine would run on the long run. So it was uh, a lot of fun, and and like he said, it you know it's just one of those deals where. I never even, two tires never even crossed my mind uh, to, to put on a car. And, you know, if I had to do it again, I'd probably probably pit earlier and and um, probably get on the pit road a little harder. So it, just uh, a couple things that, that obviously looking back, uh, you could do a little bit differently, whether it changed the outcome or not, I don't know. But um, still a good day for us. We, we hadn't been as competitive as I'd like to have been over the past few weeks, and that's the, that's the main thing that came out of today. If you have any questions down here in the uh, press room, raise your hand for us. We'll get the wireless mic to you. Name and affiliation before you ask, please. That's it. Reed Spencer with Sporting News. Uh, since Kevin said he didn't consider two tires, Carl, did you did you consider that at all? Or uh, and and for both of you, is it is it sort of a shame that a, that a race like that with such good racing throughout the entire race has to end that way with uh, with a pit strategy call like that? I, I did not think of two tires until we were jacking up the left side of the car. I thought, man, it is kind of close to the end. I wonder if somebody will take two, but I, I didn't really think about it uh, more than that. And I guess it's a little bit of a shame that it didn't come down to a real battle at the end, but but um, it very well could have. You know, a little bit of a slower stop on, on the uh, Kyle's car or a caution or something like that, that was going to be an insane finish. Jim Alexander from the Riverside Press Enterprise. And... I apologize. I'm sure you guys have probably heard this question before, but indulge me. How does racing Saturday help you guys Sunday, just in, in a general sense? Well, I think here it's huge just for the rhythm factor. Um, I consider myself a, you know, more of a rhythm type racer. And, and when the lines move around like they did you know, today, um, I think it helps a lot. Um, yeah, and I, I think like getting on pit road, stuff like that, you know, it helps you a little bit. Um, you know, and and really, it's just fun. I mean, you know, if, what are we going to do? Sit around? I mean, what? I I can't think of something better to do on Saturday than to race out here. I mean, it's it's really a blast. Uh, Bob Parker, Seen Daily. Uh, Kevin, why, why why was four tires kind of the obvious call? Is there was there so much wear, or did you lose so much time if you had taken two tires? Or I mean, it was balance? just you know the 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 trend at this particular racetrack. You know, I think the lap times were still four tenths of a second. A lot faster. It's just the distance that he put on us um, was was too great. That's why you know I say we should have we should have led the charge coming on to pit road. Thinking about it now that we got beat by two tires, uh, we should have been the first one on pit road. But um, if I had to do it again, I'd still put four tires on. I just put them on a lot earlier. Got a follow up here, Christy. Up pocket. Kevin, you said something on the radio like nothing worse than seeing him in victory lane. Is that yeah. because? I mean, is that well, because he's just he's just been you know he's just been winning so much, and I feel like it's our responsibility as other drivers and teams to to you know get the performance up and and win these some race win some races so that it doesn't get boring with with him winning all the races. So um, you know we, we've just not been where we needed to be. We won the first race this year with Stewart, and uh, we just. We got a lot better today, and that's what we needed to do, and, and I feel like we're able to, to do that. Nothing about like, the way he drives or anything? No, I just, I just, when one guy wins that much, it's like, you know, you get frustrated not beating him. We have any questions in the media center for Carl Edwards or Kevin Harvick? Yes. Go ahead, please. 
Hi, Shell Siegel, Fontana Herald News. This question is for Kevin. Uh, Kevin, uh, why is it so hard for you to win on your home track? I don't know. I think we finished second and third here more times than, than any other racetrack by far, but it's uh, definitely, um, definitely one, just one of those things, I guess. Other questions from the Media Center? No more questions from the Media Center. Kevin, you said that you guys weren't kind of where you'd wanted to be earlier. Does your performance show you where you want to be, or does Elliot Sadler finishing top five show you that your organization is where you want it to be? Uh, I mean, just leading laps and, and running up front is, is what we want to do. Um, you know, the Las Vegas was terrible. Uh, Phoenix wasn't great. Uh, we ran third at Phoenix, but we weren't even in the game. Today we were at least in the game, and, um, you know, Elliot should run just like I do. So, I mean, both cars are in the top five today, and obviously he's got a different goal, and the only goal of the 33 cars to try to win. So um, I think we moved nine people this week and shuffled four out, and, and so we made a lot of changes this week. Any questions for Carl or Kevin from the Skybox press box, please? We have one uh, question. No, thank you. No questions. We have one question in the press box. Go ahead, please. Uh, J.P. Horns, Joe San Bernardino Sun. Uh, question for Carl. You, you mentioned Ricky Stenhouse a couple times. You know, with the new format, he's the points leader. Maybe he gets a little bit more attention today with his performance. Just talk about the new format and, and how you think it's working out. Well, I, I, I don't know about the format. You know, um, it remains to be seen how the season will end up, but man, Ricky was, uh, he was driving the wheels off of that car. Um, I, if I wanted to run into his back bumper going in the corner, I couldn't have, you know, I'd lift off the throttle and he'd beat me by 20 car lengths to the center of the corner, so uh, at least that's what it felt like. He, he did a great job, and I think that showed not only how good of a driver Ricky is, but how strong our team is compared to where we were a year ago. Our, our nationwide program is way better, and um, it's fun to be able to race up there for the lead with my teammate. Any other questions for either Carl or Kevin? Thanks for the comments. No more questions. Should have heard what we said before. Media Center, we clear? <laughs> no more questions. Yeah. Terrace Press Box, clear? Clear. All right. Carl, Kevin, congrats. Thanks. Okay, Good nice luck tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Thank you.